Sumi Martial Arts here. Uh, we're going to take a look at a technique called Jujinagi. We're going to start off doing it in a traditional format and then we're going to move into a practical application format. Um, I like to demonstrate traditional uh, techniques with my students as a template so they learn how to move their bodies, um, so they get a better understanding of the technique before we intensify the, the training level. For traditional Jujinagi, I'm trying to put it in the simplest format that I can. Um, he comes in with Marokdadori, which is two hands on one here. Right, I'm in a traditional homily stance. Uh, he's got a nice tight grip on me. I need to drop my center, get underneath it. I'm going to bring him around. I'm going to sweep this off, and then I'm going to advance. Okay? So now we're going to look at a practical application for a Jujinagi, one possible scenario. Okay? Uh, my attacker is going to come in with a right uh, roundhouse punch, and then when I go into my technique, I'm going to blend to the inside, where I'm almost anticipating him throwing that left roundhouse punch. So I'm going to blend with both movements. When we go to the inside, we're going to be utilizing an inside parry. Okay? So I'm here, I'm hanging out, he throws this punch, right, I blend here, this hand goes up, he goes to throw the other one, right, I'm here, and then I just throw it here, one here, this one. Okay, so that was just a kind of a peek at Juji Nagi from a traditional aspect, and then a scenario that we kind of put together for practical application. Roundhouse punches are very common, um, so that would seem like the most, to me anyway, the most applicable um, avenue for a Jujinagi uh, technique. Again, as we go along, we make more videos. We're going to expand on many more different scenarios.